Hello and welcome to Coaching Champions. I'm Paul Arnold Søgaard and I am on a mission to help you transform your life and the people around you. In this video today, I'm going to talk about executive functioning skills. You will learn what they are and why they are important to you in terms of realizing your full human potential, but also in terms of achieving goals. First though, I'm going to tell you why executive functioning skills are important to me as a coach. So whether I coach in education, in life coaching, in the corporate sector, or in the performing arts, executive functioning skills always comes up at some point during my work, my clients. And the reason for that is that they are key in developing ourselves as human beings, but also in our interactions with the people that we come in contact with. And that is both at home and at work. So let's look at the definition of the executive functioning skills. Executive functioning and self-regulation skills are the mental processes that enable us to plan, focus attention, remember instructions, and juggle multiple tasks successfully. So you need them when you're looking to achieve your full potential. And by focusing on them one by one, you're really going to learn about your abilities to grow and improve your results. And it's whether you work in education, you know, business, medicine, law, sports, if you're a parent, or if you simply just want to improve your executive functioning skills. So what are they? But we could actually list them like this. Response inhibition, working memory, emotional control, sustained attention, task initiation, planning, and prioritizing, organization and time management, goal-directed persistence, flexibility, and metacognition. Now, there's quite a lot of them here, and I'm not going to go into uh, these today details in this video. But once you start mastering these, and some of these you will, of course, already uh, be able to master, you will have a very conscious controlled ability to achieve your goals. So to use them in an effective manner, we need to know what they are and how to apply them to any given task at any given time. And of course, which of our executive functioning skills are strongest and which we need to improve. We also need to know how our sleeping, eating and exercise habits affect our behavior towards ourselves and others and when our optimal cognitive functioning is during our circadian rhythm. So what are the benefits when you're improving your executive functioning skills? Well, I would focus on three. And the first one is breaking harmful habits. In other words, overcoming the obstacles that are in front of you to achieve your goal. Emotional control and planning ahead. So the context in which we find ourselves in can have a significant positive and negative effect on our application of our executive functioning skills to any task. So we need to be aware of how we feel and think in these situations where we need our executive functioning skills. Being aware of how we respond in these situations and the outcomes and results based on our responses are an essential process to go through when seeking to improve the use of our executive functioning skills. For example, if you're able to visualize the situation before you encounter it and has the flexibility to respond in an appropriate manner when you are in it, you will be able to achieve much better results by applying your executive functioning skills in a conscious manner. So for example, 
by being better at controlling your emotional response, by using response inhibition effectively in stressful situations. Now, I've got a little task for you, which I think you should try and do as a way of starting to work with your executive functioning skills. Try and write a list of your strengths and weaknesses in relation to your executive functioning skills and start making a plan of action for one or two of them. Then track yourself over the coming week and see if you manage to make your desired improvements. And let's just repeat what the executive functioning skills are. Response inhibition, working memory, emotional control, sustained attention, task initiation, planning and prioritizing, organization and time management, goal-directed persistence, flexibility and metacognition. So pick one or two of those and see how you do during the week. I hope you enjoyed this short video about executive functioning skills. And as always, please do get in touch if you have any questions regarding the topic in these videos. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.